Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 21 of I Create Content. Hey, it's Friday. I appreciate you guys tuning in to today's show. If you caught Wednesday's episode, I showed you how to make layer style presets inside of Photoshop. Before I jump into today's show, I have a couple quick announcements. First, tomorrow, which is Saturday, July 30th, I'm actually doing a Lightroom workshop here in Dallas. So there's still room. We're doing this at the studios at Walnut Ridge. You can go to meetup.com slash DFWAUG. So that's a user group sponsored event. It's a great introduction to Lightroom. So if you're local to Dallas, I hope to see you there tomorrow. Also, next month, August 28th, my good friend Jay Shu and Betty Zoller are putting on an animation voiceover workshop. So if you like to do voiceovers, if you want to do sound, or if you're into animation, it's definitely something you want to check out. You can go to VoicesVoices.com to register for that event next month, August 28th. All right, so today it's Friday. We're going to kick off and take a look at a quick tip for Lightroom. I want to show you how to make a quick contact sheet proof that you can email to a client. Let's take a look. All right, you can see on the screen in front of you, I'm in the library module. I've got a series of images. I'm going to change to the print module by doing Command Option 4 on a Mac, which would be Control Alt 4 on a PC. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why am I in the print module? Well, what I'm going to do is create a quick contact sheet, save it off as an electronic file, then I can email that to friends, family, or even a customer, right? What I'm going to do here is select all the images in the film strip by doing Command or Control A. Now my contact sheet is filled, all right? You have a number of templates. So this is the default contact sheet with some info. I went ahead and just made a user contact sheet. If we take a look to the right, you have all of your settings for an individual print page. So I've got image settings, layout settings, guides. None of that really matters today. We're going to ju uh, jump right to the print job because a lot of people have overlooked the fact that not only can I print to a printer, I can print to a JPEG file. So I'm going to go ahead and print to a JPEG file. I'm going to change the resolution down to 150 to make the file smaller. And then I'll go ahead and leave the profile to sRGB. And all I have to do is hit print to file. Now, if you really want to discourage printing or use, you could drop the JPEG quality. But I'll just go ahead and hit print to file. Ask me for a file name. I'll call this client proof. Hit save. Takes but a second to actually go through all of those images. And if we look on the desktop, here is that client proof. I can go ahead and open it up. There it is as a single JPEG file. You can even go ahead and if you're going to use this quite a bit, you can save that whole setting as a new user preset. If I go back over here, I want to have JPEG file all of my panel settings can be saved as an individual preset. So I can go right to the template browser, hit the plus symbol, and then say this is my proof sheet. And if I want to remind myself it's a JPEG, I'll put JPEG proof sheet, hit create. And I just want you to see if I go back to the contact sheet, I've got my printer options over on the right, and if I click my JPEG proof sheet, it knows that this is going to be a JPEG file. So that's a quick tip today for Lightroom. You guys have an excellent weekend. If you enjoyed the video, as always, give me a thumbs up. Hey, please subscribe to the channel, and you know where to leave the questions. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, my website, ajwood.com, and of course, here the YouTube channel. So you guys have fun. I'll see you on Monday.